As long as there's been life on Earth, there have been parasites. There's a good chance that you're living in one right now. We call them cities. Parasites don't produce anything for themselves. They take advantage of what's there and use it for their purposes. As a result, it damages the things that it takes advantage of. The land in the case of the cities, and the person in the case of, let's say, malaria, which is another parasite. There's a dilemma associated with living in cities, and that is, they're growing. The parasites are feeding off the landscape and they're getting bigger. We call it urbanization. If we were to look at Earth from 300 miles up, which makes it look about that big, and we could count how many people actually live there, the number would be 7.3 billion people. If we had to say what portion of the land mass is devoted to producing food for those 7.3 billion people, all we'd have to do is look to the continent of South America. That's one-seventh of the land mass of this entire planet, devoted to producing food for 7.3 billion people. We need more land for that if we're going to continue the way we are. The parasite will exceed its capacity and collapse under its own weight. One way to produce food without using land is to produce food inside buildings. We call them greenhouses. But if we stack greenhouses on top of each other, we call them vertical farms. So we can improve the density of a greenhouse simply by making it a multiple story building. And that's what I propose to ease the parasitism of cities on the landscape for food production and allow the cities to go on their merry way without bothering the landscape. Urban agriculture already exists. All you have to do is cross the river into New Jersey. And there's a great example, it's called Aero Farms. Fly out to Chicago and look a hundred mile radius of Chicago, you can find at least 50 vertical farms in operation and they're all profitable too. That's the other nice thing about this. Fly to Japan a little bit further, of course, hundreds of vertical farms, Korea, Singapore, China, Taiwan. If we don't find another solution to cities parasitizing the landscape, then in the future, someone will point to a jar and say, inside this jar is this mammalian species that used to live on the planet Earth, but they took too much of what wasn't theirs. Or we can use this to think of other solutions to our problem, and it'll be a better place because of it.